I have a colleague by the name of Phyllis who works with me in the area of Bible telling. She will tell you that, that there was a time when she didn't even own a Bible. Hadn't been to church in, 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 in 20 years. I met her at our annual Christian storytelling conference that we have every June. And uh, sometime after that, I, I said to Phyllis, you need to read my book, All the Stories of the Bible. You'll find that, as I told her, you'll find that on BibleTelling.org. And there you'll see a place where you free download. You can download the entire book of all the stories of the Bible. She says, John, I'm just not interested. Just not interested. I've tried reading the Bible. It's confusing. I don't understand it. I'm not interested. But I kept after, month after. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, she finally said, John, why do you bug me? I mean, don't you know I'm just not interested? I said, Phyllis, because you told me you haven't been to church in 20 years. You don't even own a Bible. I want to see how this affects you. It's, uh, she said, well, I'm not interested in being your guinea pig. I said, look, you got to read all the stories of the Bible. She finally wrote me an email saying, hey, I found out I can, I can download this onto my Kindle. Well, I'll read it in the airport as I fly along. Phyllis is a conference speaker. She's written several books by, used, by, used by various school districts across the nation. So she flies a lot and she said, I'll, I'll read it, I'll read it in, in the airport. Well, she got hooked. She started reading through the whole thing. She signed up to go to Israel with us. We have a Bible telling trip to Israel. We tell over 110 Bible stories in the 45 locations where they happen. And she decided to go. And she said, well, I, I better read it again because I'm going to be there with all those churchy people. She read it again. She was the one that told us that every time she read a story, she realized I had simplified it. So she was curious, what did I leave out? So she downloaded a free Bible so that she could read the story, and then read it in, in the Bible. She says, if I read your story first, then I understand the Bible. When we were in Israel, she had a few more questions, but eventually she told us she was ready to accept Christ. C.C. was discipled to Christ. My friend Mike is someone else who went through the same process. It's what we call getting on the path, the, the path of discipleship. He had uh, been similar to a superintendent of schools, was at, uh, he was at that level. His wife was a school principal. Uh, Mike got on the path, and these stories really affected his life. But his wife just wasn't interested. Just went and said, Mike, that's fine with you. She appreciated the fact that the going through all the stories of the Bible really helped their marriage become stronger. But this whole thing of accepting Christ wasn't, wasn't for her. At one point, Mike came to me and says, my wife has cancer for the fourth time. And this time, she will die from it. And I'm concerned. She doesn't know Christ. I told Mike to take the program and uh, encourage his wife to start reading all the stories of the Bible. She did. Called it up online, started reading, until finally, because of her decreasing health, she couldn't do it anymore. So they actually printed I went to a quick print place and printed all, all the stories, and there she read it that way until finally she couldn't do that anymore. And finally then Mike started reading them to her. Finally it was time to go to the hospital. There he continued to read the stories. So finally she said, I'm ready to accept Christ. He called a pastor in, and he came in and led her to Christ. Others wondered if that was just kind of a deathbed conversion and so another pastor came in and just wanted to talk to her personally and after spending the time with her came out and said oh, I can tell you this that woman knows Christ Mike said some, some of the best fellowship of their entire marriage was right there 
You see, she didn't respond to other methods of leading her to Christ. Same with Phyllis. Same with Peter. But they responded to the discipleship method. It's kind of like giving a person a test drive before they buy the car. They can actually get in it and learn more about God. It, 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 it's a thing of learning about God before committing to Him. It's a great method. Discipling people to Christ. <laughs>